Hi there. Now, in this video, what I want to do is show you how we go about handling integrals that reduce down to this type of form. Now, in an earlier video, I showed you that if you were to differentiate r shine x over a, the result was 1 all over the root of a squared plus x squared, where a is a constant. And similarly, if you differentiate r cosh x over a, you end up with 1 all over the root of x squared minus a squared. So therefore, by reversing the effect, we can see that the integrals of these two functions go back to r shine x over a and r cosh x over a, respectively. Now I've got a couple of examples here that reduce down to integrals of these two forms. And you might in fact even want to uh, pause the video at this stage and have a go. But what I'll do is I'll take you slowly through the methods and you can then compare them say to what you might have worked out. So with this first one here, 3 being a constant, we'd pull that 3 out okay, of the integral. So we've got 3 times the integral of 1 all over then the root of and in here we can think of the 7 as just root 7 squared and then we've got plus x squared and that's integrated with respect to x. So this now has this particular form where a is the root 7. So what we've got then is that this is going to be equal to that result there. We're going to have 3 r shine of x over a. So that's going to be x divided by a, which is root 7. OK, and not forgetting our constant of integration, plus c. Now in this next example, we've got the integral then of 5 all over the root of 16x squared minus 9. And for this one, there's two ways that we can do it, so that we can reduce it down to this type of form. One way is to pull out 16 across this bracket. I'll show you. The other way, though, is by substitution, which I'll do at the end. Well, first of all, the 5 being a constant, I'll pull out the front of the integral, and that would leave us with 1 on the top here. And then we have the square root, and at this stage, I'll pull out 16. So that just means that we've got x squared there, but on this second term in the bracket, it would now become minus 9 over 16. And we integrate that with respect to x. So the square root of 16 is 4, so I can bring that 4 out the front of the integral, so we've got 5 over 4, and then it'll be the integral of 1 over the root of x squared minus 9 sixteenths. So it then has this form where a will be the root of 9 sixteenths, 3 quarters. So this reduces down to r cosh of x divided by a. And a would be the root of 9 sixteenths then, which is 3 quarters. Don't forget the constant of integration plus c. And then tidying the fraction here up, what we end up then with is 5 over 4 r cosh and timesing top and bottom here by 4 gives us 4x over 3 and then plus that constant of integration c. Okay so you most probably would be able to bypass this line and just go from here straight into this answer. So I feel that this is a very quick method. The other method, though, is to use substitution. And the substitution that we would make would be to let u equal the square root of 16x squared. So if we did that, let's just put u equals 4x. Then, in the usual way, I differentiate this with respect to x. So we have du by dx equals 4. And it would follow then from here that dx would equal du over 4. 
And if I make that substitution into here, that integral changes to the integral of 5, then all divided by the root of u squared minus 9. And that's integrated with respect to u, but we're going to have that over 4. And I can pull out 5 quarters then, being a constant, over that integral. And so I've got the integral of 1 over the root of u squared minus 9, which is going to reduce down to r cosh of u over a, a being the root of 9, which is 3. I haven't written the constant of integration in here just because I've got a lack of room. But can you see now, if we substitute the u back in as 4x, we get this result here. So that's it, and I hope that's given you some idea then on how to handle these types of integrals.